popping. Heard the voice on the face, made the choice. It's Corey Guns, live from the 718. Fix your face and get shot and shit. You already know what you're rocking with. Corey Guns, hip hop beat.com, pause, militia gang. Pause, so like, of course, I'm not saying that because I'm in the atmosphere with him, but lyrically, ball for ball wise, of course, my man Hash, of course, Fred the Godson, of course, Goods, like, these are the dudes that's on the come up, you know what I'm saying? Like, from coming from where I'm from, in particular, they got balls, they got heat, and I just want to open, like, particularly, particularly they're all opening up doors for their own, they're all doing them, they all got their own buzz, but I just want all of us to keep, like, the outlets going and put the Bronx on that platform and make the next step a big one. Mainly that's it. My militia family is mainly what I be rocking with, though. And my, my homies from the Bronx. Of course, I'm not, I'm not no hater. I got a lot of other artists I'm listening to. Of course, Kid Cudi, he dropped the album. Asher Roth, couple of, couple of the dudes that I was on the Double XL cover with, of course. I'm a fan of B.O.B. Different dudes, but as far as like dudes who ain't, who I feel is that's, that's definitely on the come up, I, keep, I gotta keep it home, of course. I don't know. I can't. I can't say. I. I would have to say. <clears throat> mm. Classic wise, I was. I was a young dude, so I can't say Biggie and Pac in particular. Even though lyrically those was crazy battles. But I would rather say. Um, of course, Nas and Jay. Everybody will say that. M and I think I think the whole M fifty and Ja Rule and that whole that whole situation was a crazy like lyrical lyrical wise that was crazy as far as like a contest like that was that was that was dope. Um other than that, I don't really I don't really know. Like I'm a fan of competition. You know what I mean? So I just think I, I listen to lyrics. Anybody would say Nas and Jay are big and pop. That's, yeah. that's a no brainer. But I just say coming from my perspective and being a fan of the dude. I definitely have to say M, 50 and J, and it's it definitely a crazy, crazy situation. Mm -hmm. I definitely think the game is at a turning point, coming from my perspective. Like everything is about the coming, coming from me. Everything is about the lyrics nowadays. So I think a lot more people are paying attention, and not to no no disrespect, but a lot of people are getting smarter. So. They, they, they know they, they bring in good quality hip hop back. Like I just heard Just Blaze is doing more for his next album. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's not out of this world to me, but it's, it's ridiculous. It's something nobody would expect, but that's a crazy collaboration for hip hop. So that's something I'm looking forward to as well. Absolutely. Everybody tells me that I rap too fast. Nobody can really understand me. But. That's me. I learned how to do it like on certain records that people picked up on. And the funny thing is the records that, that a lot of the people picked up on is the ones where I was just rapping like, kind of like, not, nah, I don't want to say dumb, but like kind of at a like slow pace. And that's the ones they picked up on most, but I, I'm a fan of lyricism, so I just like spazzing out. I'm going crazy. Anybody will say J. I just want to be respected as one of them dudes nobody forget. I want to be everybody top five at the end of the day. But me coming up, I listen to, of course, Jay, Nas, M, all day, them three. And mainly everybody else. Bone Thugs, people from Midwest, West Coast, Pop, definitely grew up on that nigga too, Paul. But other than that, that's it. Fan of Biggie too. Paul Wade. That's it. Hip-hop beef.com